Dr. Sam Moody. I'm Energy Officer at the University of Reading. I work in the sustainability team. My general role here is head of the carbon management plan. We received uh, 3.3 million pounds in 2020 to do a range of government funded decarbonisation and energy reduction projects. Part of the requirements for the government funding was that we needed to monitor and verify all of the energy savings, produce huge plans of what we thought we were going to save and then back it up once the intervention was already in place. So really I was after some kind of monitoring system. When I first got in touch with Measurable and realised that we could use sockets to monitor both the things plugged into a double socket, I thought that this is absolutely perfect. I realised that there was an awful lot of control. These, these sockets actually had a return on investment and energy saving capability themselves. Um, so at that point, I realised we needed to do a much uh, much bigger thing than just monitoring some of the projects. And we brought them in here to, to Park Eat, one of our main uh, restaurant and catering facilities at the university. As a trading part of the university that's operating on a commercial footing, we pay our own utilities. So energy saving is always at the forefront of our I thinking it's our third largest cost. So one of the untapped potentials here was the small power. We've got lots and lots of sockets throughout the uh, front of house area. Obviously many, many sockets in the servery uh, areas from extracts to, to grills to display fridges. So one of the obvious um, things that needed replacing in the last year were our bottle fridges. So we've got uh, five bottle fridges in the bar behind me. They hadn't been replaced for sort of seven, eight years, I think most of them. Um, and as technologies come along and of course energy prices have increased so much, it was really a no brainer to, to have a look at replacing these. So we got the system set up. One of the first things that we did was replace the fridges and we were amazed to see 63% uh, energy reduction immediately from, from replacing them. But then on top of that, we used it as one of the first um, projects to start implementing the rule sets that the measurable platform uh, provides. So the next stage really was to look at what of the things could be switched off overnight. So we immediately looked at the water coolers, the tills, the projectors, the screens. Um, what we have managed to ascertain is from the 35 sockets or so where we've had rule set, um, we've saved about 19% of the energy consumption and the carbon associated to those particular devices. And um, that therefore has paid back within um, sort of five to six months. It's also saved another £2,000 or so in my time from having to download the data in a different format, format it all do the analysis, write up the report. I've been able to download the measurable data uh, without having to, to leave my house, without having to install anything, without having to get somebody else on board. Um, and for me, that's really invaluable. If you start to add that into the mix as well, then the uh, payback period comes down even further. I'd recommend measurable because I think it engages the customers, engages the staff and provides real savings and you can't ask for much more from the system. It's helped us go on a journey really and we found uh, real savings, not theoretical savings, I think is the best way of putting it. With the measurable system, I would certainly advise people to, to give it a go because for us it's allowed us to access the priorities. What of the small power uh, consumed in this building uh, is, is consuming a lot overnight? Um, what is using a huge amount on startup? What's going on too early? What's going off too late? Um, and having the data, knowledge is power really. You can't manage what you can't measure. Yeah.